The sixth chapter of the Acts of the Apostles makes clear the role of deacons in the life of the newborn church. In those days, the apostles, full of the Spirit, were on fire with the call of Jesus to build the kingdom of God. But how were they to do that when the practical needs of suffering people, illness, poverty, exploitation, were distracting their creation of a community of joy and mutual support? Their solution was to invite wise, spirit-filled followers who saw clearly that Jesus expected the church to confront injustice and serve the deepest and most immediate needs of the world. So the apostles ordained the first deacons. Fast forward 2,000 years, and the ordaining of deacons continues to be central to the life of a faithful church. What we know about deacons is often limited to their role in the Sunday liturgy, reading the gospel, setting the table, giving the dismissal to send every Christian into the world to faithfully imitate Christ. But the deacon's role goes well beyond Sunday. Guided by the charges given at ordination, the deacon draws the church out to heal the broken world. Pete, you're gonna be home by 6.30, right? Don't worry, Ma, I'll be here. All right, because I have a meeting at church and I have to work the overnight shift. Kids, time to go. Here you go, Lily. Make it a good day at school, okay? okay and I'll okay. meet you at the bus stop. Have a good day. Oh, we're Bye. gonna bring the casserole over to Miss Bennett at the end of the day. So make it a good day, okay? okay. I love you. Bye, Grandma. Bye. Good morning, Helen. This is Deacon Bonnie. I got your email about planning meeting this evening. I'll be there. I think it's a really great idea that you have about changing the old rectory into an Oxford house. You're, you're doing a great job getting a bunch of people together to do this. It's gonna be a lot of hard work. I'll be praying for you. You know that God and I have your back. Good morning, Mother Julie. Yes, I will be preaching on Sunday. No, I can't do the noon service on Wednesday. Actually, I just pulled up to church when you called. I'm gonna be meeting with Joe to fill the communion kits, and he and I are gonna go about 11.30 over to the hospital to do some visits. Oh, Mother Julie, I have to go. I just saw Ronald and I need to talk to him. I'll call you back later, bye. Morning, Ronald. I brought these for you. Thought you might like them. I found these clothes out by the dumpster. I thought they might be yours. I brought them in and washed them. I hope you don't mind. If, if you like, we could make an arrangement. And if you leave the clothes there, I'll take them in and wash them for you. You know, we really value you being here. You're important to us. By the way, I got, I got new cards. Here, I'll leave it over here. Remember, it's just for an emergency, but throw away the old one, okay? Because I got a new number. It was good to see you. I'm keeping you in my prayers. I hope I'm in yours too. Have a good day. Good morning, Deacon Bonnie. Good morning, Joe. Joe. Good morning, Mother Julie. Excuse me a minute, Joe. When we were talking this morning, I didn't have the opportunity to ask you about, um, what's his name? Bob Brown from the Lutheran Church called and asked whether or not we could do a joint blood drive in March. So I wanted to bring that up to the 
outreach committee. Hmm. That would be another thing right in the middle of Lent. What I was really hoping is that you would lead a Bible study on the book of Job during Lent on Wednesday nights. That isn't going to work for me. I, I can't do Wednesdays because I'm already doing the ecumenical immigrants' peace vigils, and they're going to be on Wednesday night. So I can't. I'm sorry. Today we're going to visit Mr. Sims. He knows that we're coming and I'm going to go through the whole process mm -hmm. and I just want you to keep a close eye on me okay. and then once we're finished and out of his room, then if you have any questions, you can ask me about it. Okay? okay? Wait a minute. It's the hospital calling. Go ahead okay. and I'll meet you in there. Okay. 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 Hello? Ronald? Ronald, what's the matter? Oh my goodness, are you okay? Did anyone else get hurt? The police let you call. Calm down, Ronald, calm down. Okay, I'm, I'm in the hospital, well, heading into the hospital right now, and I will, I'll tell you what, I, I'm gonna finish up here in about a half hour. I'll come down. We'll say some prayers. I can bring you lunch. Just keep calm, Ronald. Hello. Hi, Caroline. The bishop hopes you can represent him at the Interfaith Refugee Council. The next meeting is Thursday, so I don't know if you're going to be available, but it's at 10 o'clock. Yeah, okay, sure. Oh, that's great. I'll go ahead and send you an email with all the details. Thank you. Take care, Bonnie. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Voices, guys. What do you mean no homework? Tonight's parents night, so there's no homework. What? Why didn't I get a notice about that? It's in my backpack, sorry. Oh, really? You don't really have to go, Grandma. You aren't really going to pay on it. Oh, parents night's very important. Either your dad or I will go. Just give me a minute, okay? Get your seatbelts on. Be quiet for a minute. Let me make a phone call, okay? okay. Hi, Helen. It's... Deacon Bonnie, I'm sorry, I won't be able to make the meeting tonight. Unfortunately, it's the kids' parents' night. I, I didn't know it. So either my son or I will have to go. I'll be praying for you. You know, God and I got your back. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. We're going to get the casserole and bring it over to Miss Bennett's. She should be home with the... Uh, New baby by now, so hopefully we'll get to see the new baby. Yay! Oh, but first I have to stop by church. Mr. Ronald was having a bad day, and I need to stop by church just to make sure that everything's okay. The deacon's role goes well beyond Sunday. Guided by the charges given at ordination, the deacon draws the church out to heal the broken world. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.